Hi, I'm Martin and in this video I will show you how to create a new mob in Atavism. For this tutorial I will use Infinity PBR package. In this case it will be package with spiders. In case you wouldn't know this uh, asset store publisher He has a lot of content, a lot of creatures, mobs, characters and uh, a lot more like icons. And the best part is that uh, these uh, characters in most cases are very customizable. They uh, usually have sounds, uh, sometimes music, concept arts and uh, a lot more. So don't hesitate to check this out on the Unity Asset Store. So if we will switch to our spiders package we can see that they also they also um, have atavism files. These files are not available for all of the uh, their packages but for quite some of them and this package as uh, atavism files this package contains Mm, some kind of atavism game ready models, predefined ones with uh, necessary components and um, database scripts that you can run through the atavism standalone editor. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will start from scratch, so I won't use these atavism files. I will use the base one for the spiders. So let's switch to the Unity Editor and our spiders are in the Infinity PBR Infinity PBR Spiders There we have our prefabs and for this tutorial we will use the first one so it will be Spider1 demo As you can see this spider prefab already already has a controller, animation controller, but we will replace this controller with the Atavism default default one that we have in the Atavism, uh, Atavism package. The easiest way to configure, to create a new mob, is to open window, Atavism, and there we have prepare character model option so let's click it and we have such such window so here we have to provide our source file our source prefab uh, like some kind of a template and for this template we will use the one that we have in the atavism demo package and this uh, this example this template is available in the resources mobs SF Bay and we have uh, some example templates here so we will use this bomber bug one let's drag it here and here we have our spider one demo that uh, we selected and it's here because basically we selected it earlier but if you wouldn't select it earlier you can um, at any time go to your prefab select any other any other model any other prefab and uh, click get prefab from the selected from the selected objects so if we would select two of them then all of them would be uh, populated here and we would be able to configure all of them at once but we will keep it as simple as possible, so we will use one. And here we have a few options. By default, this, um, this script will select all components that are necessary, for the necessary, and if these components wouldn't be present on our template, it would create them. And at the top, we have two more options like asset bundles and addressables these two are optional 
we won't use them in this tutorial but they are uh, useful if you want to uh, further manage your memory uh, memory usage in unity this would require us uh, from us to create uh, to build additional unity asset bundle addressable files and load these files and then load uh, this spider prefab from this uh, from this additional file most of these tasks uh, would be handled automatically by atavism but we would have to build this, uh, these files uh, anyway inside Unity. So we will use a traditional, um, like a base option for Unity. So we will load the model, the prefab from the resources directory. We can tick some additional options like Atavism Spawn, which is responsible for presenting a uh, health bar above the, uh, the character, the spider in this case, but the, he the health bar would be mm, displayed only if the mob's health would drop below 100%, but we want to, to use this. And then we have the, this uh, click to move targetable object component. This component is uh, used only if you are using click to move uh, controller for your character and if you would tick this asset bundle because our template bomber bug is um, using this asset bundle as well it it is uh, displayed here and we can we can click this option but as i said we won't use this and then just click prepare so our spider demo should get all of these components so as you can see it has atavism mechanic map controller it has character character controller mob appearance and so on all of these components that we selected here we will have to adjust this mob a bit further so we can close this window and let's open this prefab in the scene. So we have to adjust our character controller because as you can see this sphere here is too small so it would be uh, really hard to select our mob and our mob would be uh, a bit under the ground because this character controller is responsible for colliding with our objects, terrains and so on. So let's increase the size to match our mob size, something like this. And now the capsule, the sphere is uh, with a proper size but it's a bit larger below so our mob would float would be floating in the air so let's adjust the height something more or less like this maybe even more maybe a bit li little more Yeah, let's let's see, leave it like this. So basically, this character control is responsible for um, keeping our mob above the uh, on the terrain, and it's also responsible for selecting uh, selecting this mob by our character. So if we'll click on the on the mob we are actually clicking on the character controller so it's really important to adjust it properly and then we also have to switch our layer from default to targetable and let's apply it for all objects below and because we have auto save here, we can basically close it. 
Now we need to adjust our controller, animation controller this time. So the simplest way is to grab one from the bomber bag and this controller from bomber bag is in the dragon sun mobs assets and here we have bomber bag so let's select it Control D is duplicate so let's duplicate it let's call it spider and then we have this states structure so we will have to adjust animations because these animations are for bomber bag so let's open our animations for the spiders and I will expand our spider one model and I will have to drag these animations here so let's open idle and let's drag idle idle will be used also for combat let's drag it here then run and walk are basically can be the same so let's drag walk here and walk here and let's set that animation as a def1 let's say and attack1 can be attack1 and attack2 can be attack2 we can set the third one as attack1 as well so it depends how many animations we have for this model in this case we have two attacks so i will populate these three types of attacks of course you can you can have more attack animations and more attack states like here all you would have to do is create uh, create a parameter for your animation and set uh, set the state and set the transition based on this parameter here so if the parameter is true it would uh, transition to this state uh, if this animation would be over in this case it would transition back to combat and the same for all of these other other states we have as you can see we have attack 01 here 2 and the third attack is here so we have our prefab setup we have our animation controller our character controller and now we have to drag this drag this prefab spider one demo prefab into our resources directory because unity can load uh, dynamically objects only if they are within resources or within asset bundles or addressables so we need to ensure that our characters our mobs our npcs all of these should be within resources directory here we have resources and mobs uh, subdirectory so i will use it so i will just drag this into our mobs and now we need to assign our animation controller into our prefab so let's open our prefab And here let's uh, pick our spider animation controller. And then we have to switch to our Atavism standalone editor to configure it further. So in the Atavism standalone editor, we will also use bomber bug templates. So open mobs tab, it's under mobs and mobs here. And then let's right click on the bomber bag and let's select duplicate let's call this spider and now we have to select our prefab so let's click choose and our prefab was in the resources mobs and here we have spider one demo just ensure that you will select prefab and not prefab.meta uh, so let's use prefab 
And of course we can adjust all parameters like how fast the, the mob will uh, walk, run, how it will behave. I will use the same behavior because it's not purpose of this tutorial to show how to configure everything but how to create a new mob. So uh, how to configure behaviors and uh, abilities for the mob is uh, a part of another tutorial. I will keep the loot tables, you can of course edit everything here and set as you want. We can, let's say, add some additional health for this mob. So let's health, set health max to, let's say, 15,000. And now let's start our uh, Atavism server. Once the server is started, let's go to our Unity editor and let's enter runtime. Let's log in. Enter the world. And let's spawn our spider. So let's open admin window, mob spawner, spawn new mob. Let's select template spider and let's spawn it as is. So as you can see, we have our spider, we can select it, we can attack it. It will try to attack us back. It will move after us. And it has 15,000 health points as we set it. So as you can see, it's simple, it's fast to set up such mob. And with this uh, additional script that we provided in Atavism, it's really, uh, really fast to populate all scripts uh, that are necessary to set up your mobs. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.